Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Estancia South Carlos with me, Sea Waddy, here in Farming Simulator 22. I'm just riding on board with our minion. He's just been and delivered the second load of corn to Warehouse 2 for this harvesting contract. And he's now coming back to the field. The harvester needs to unload. Because unfortunately, this guy only goes off and delivers when he's 100% full. Which means the harvester does get full waiting for him to come back. But what I plan to do, or what I would like to do, is move him, or try to move him. Um, so that he's actually parked on the field. Preferably somewhere close to the corn here on the right hand side as we're coming down the hill so I can uh, just pop in and do a cheeky little unload. So what we're going to do is we're going to get him to go there or try to get him to go there. It might not work, but hopefully, hopefully he will do it. And that way then, when I go up the field on the, the right-hand side and then start to come back down, I can just divert the harvester off and unload into him. Keep the harvester rocking. Right, he's off. He's moving. Right. I'm going to have a quick go at trying to finish off this little edge of the field here. Whilst he's going to go. He's going to go and unload and then obviously he's going to come back to the loading point. That's how he tends to work. I probably should have unloaded the entire harvester. But yes, the contract. The contract is going okay, I think. Uh, we are at 43% delivery progress. For some reason, we're at 0% field progress. Um, that's a bit worrying. I've not seen that before. <laughs> That's new to me, that is. That harvested and delivered infographic there on that uh, contract screen. It's a bit worrying that it says we've done, we've worked 0% of the field. Um, Because there's uh, clearly quite a bit of uh, field here that's um, been worked. Right, let's go check down this side then, now. Yeah, I need to uh, just give it a bit of a trim. So yeah, this is a lovely series because like I say, I'm starting out with very small equipment. And it's it's proving to be quite a challenge for me because my 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 sort of instinct and urges is to just just to go straight to the store and grab the biggest thing I can get to do this job. 
<laughs> go get the biggest harvester with the biggest tank capacity, the biggest header I can operate and come back. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's proving quite the test for me, this is. <laughs> I mean, some of the ploughing jobs that we've done so far on this map, as those of you who have been here for the streams will know, have taken a very, very long time. Um... So let's find out where he is. Okay, he's on the main road now, so he's not diverting off into the field. That's good. He's staying on the main road. I think we've cracked him, ladies and gents. I think we've got him sorted now. Um, that could be quite good. Depending where he parks in the field, of course. But yeah, if I use my minion as a grain cart driver, and this is just giant minion, this is not course play minion, this is not auto drive minion, this is just the basic giant minion AI helper technology at work here. Okay, I probably would have gone in the bottom of the field. Just saying. Okay, that's a little bit unprofessional, dude. All right, let's see where he parks. Okay, he's going to park there. That is okay. I can live with that. That is fine. We can live with that. Um, I obviously just need to harvest that bit of the field over there where he's just driven through everything. Wow, the YouTube stream is quite a bit behind now on the YouTube side of things compared to the uh, kit. <laughs> the kick is uh, bang up to date with me. Whereas on YouTube, I haven't even started to unload in the trailer yet. So that is massively delayed over there as far as my multi-stream testing is going like I say this is just a test it's not something I plan to do all the time or regularly uh, it was just more of a case of can it work if it does work how good does it work um, does it do anything better? But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's definitely yeah. The YouTube the YouTube stream is quite a bit behind the uh, kick stream right now. So sorry for you YouTube people. There's obviously more, quite a bit more. YouTube puts obviously quite a bit more of a delay on the um on the stream. Which, again, is one of the reasons why I say, like, you know, come follow on kick. Come hang out on kick. 
You can participate in the chat then as well on kick and I can see it. I can see your comments. I can see your questions. Whereas I can't really see the um, thing on YouTube whilst I'm streaming. So if there is people watching this on um, YouTube right now, the stream, hello. And obviously for the people watching the VOD videos. It does have a setting to change latency mode. Yeah, I did see like normal, low latency or something else. I just left it on normal when I was creating the um creating the stream because obviously on youtube you have to go through that whole create a stream process before you actually hit the go live button and i remembered to do that today <laughs> but yeah it was a little bit weird that i couldn't find my own stream to watch it I tried looking on YouTube Studio app on my phone and it wasn't there. I then went into the YouTube app on my phone, couldn't find my own stream, pull up and what. I was like, how am I supposed to watch myself? <laughs> I eventually found it on the main YouTube page where it gives you the main YouTube like video recommendations and stuff. It was on the main tab, um, but yeah, I couldn't see it on um, the other stuff, on the other pages. But I, like, I went to my content, my videos, I went to my live tab, and it wasn't in there. It was just showing the old, the like the unlisted live streams that I've done in the past. Um, when I've played games in the past, like Fallout and Kingdom Come Deliverance and things like that. Which I don't have live on the channel for people to watch anymore. It tends to take a minute or two for it to appear. Okay. That probably explains why most YouTubers and streamers then have really long, boring intro bits to their videos. Where they just have random graphics and music playing for like half an hour. <laughs> Whereas I tend to hit the go live button and just start. I start talking and waffling and... <laughs> 3pm in the afternoon there. We're getting through the first day here. It's going to get dark quite early, of course, with it being December. Um... I don't know whether to let the guy carry on harvesting through the night or not. We'll see. Of course, there is the option, after we've done this field, to jump on and do the one next to us because it's the same crop. Is it for the? It's it's for the same blow. He just wants it delivering to a different warehouse. Um, I will have to um make a decision on that one. Or go do the canola, field one, which means getting the other header and trailer. And having a bit of a switch on the front of the harvester. How are we doing on fuel as well? We've used about a third at the minute of our fuel. Must keep an eye on that as well. Do not want to run out of juice in the middle of a field. Make sure we give ourselves plenty of time to go and get liquid dinosaur bones from the uh, garage the garage
but yeah, it's all good. I'm doing very nicely, working our way through. Like I say, I'm just a little bit concerned by that contract screen. I wonder if this map really needs, really should or needed to have a update doing to it. Because there's obviously been quite a lot of changes in Farm Sim. Quite a lot of updates since this map released. This map's never had an update since it was published. And I just wonder, I'm just won really, really wondering whether there's stuff broken deep inside the map. That's going to mess things up for me. Seems like it's the contract, the contract side of things is more concerning to me. Um, like harvest contracts not showing any work being done on them. You know, the, the fertilizing contracts where you get the stripy fertilizing, I can work around that because I can spray in a different direction. That's not a problem. However, the harvesting contract could potentially could potentially be a bit of a um, stumbling block because if it doesn't complete in game I'm going to have to exit the game and fiddle around with the um, XML file to get the contract to complete Which I know how to do because I actually did the YouTube tut I did the video tutorial on how to complete broken harvest contract or how to fix broken harvest contract. So yeah, not wanting to blow my own horn or toot my own content, but it's there, it's on the channel. Very easy to find. It's one of my most watched videos actually. In Farming Simulator 22. So yeah, we've got canola on field one then. We've got another cornfield over on field two that we could do harvesting on. Um, might be an idea to do the canola it might as the next job it's all the same guy it is all pretty much the same guy so it doesn't matter which of the two jobs we do it's for the same geezer and um it would get us the it would still get us another contract ticked off for him. Obviously, there's that sugar beet contract there for $151,000. Um, it's tempting. But when I think how much it's going to cost me for a sugar beet harvester... Um... Unless there's one cheap. Unless there's one going cheap somewhere. Uh, I mean, that's a toe behind harvester. Gonna need a topper. That's like 120 grand. And I noticed we got full then. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll go empty the harvester, then we'll have, whilst the harvester's empty, we'll have a look at the um, second-hand equipment list and see if there's any bargains to be had in there. There's a cotton harvester. A lot of combine, uh, combine headers. Uh, but sadly, no combines. Hmm. Sugar beet technology. Okay, they're all expensive. Uh. I mean, we've, we've leased to buy. It's an option. But I could see us do it running around for a very long time. Hmm. But still, 151 grand. Plus leftover sugar beets, you've got to factor that in. The leftover sugar beet crop, selling that, what would that bring us? And could we sell it somewhere like, I don't know, the... Um, could we sell it somewhere like the BGA, maybe? Tough one, isn't it? Of course, we don't own the BGA. Owning the BGA would be very nice. Because then we could get into like... Well, I was going to say we could get into silage production then, but... We don't have any grass fields. Do we? I think what we need to do, we need to work until about March, April time. We'll carry on working March to, to March, April as we are now doing the contracts. And then in March, April, we'll have a look at what our finances are. And what the deal is with some of the other farmers on the map. Whether we've actually reached the point where some of the farmers are actually willing to offer sensible prices their field and see if we can't buy a field of our own and then maybe we can do some grass you know because we'd have the market we'd, we'd have the complete market in terms of grass products hay silage you know we'd have the lot because nobody else is doing it nobody else wants to do it on this map So you're ready to turn into Jeremy Clarkson and own a farm now. Well, that that's always the long-term aim, Barker, in a start from scratch series like this. We do like to eventually reach the point where we are our own, our own, our own person. We've got our own farm. So for a little while, we're balancing our own farm with contracting, and then obviously, when the farm reaches a certain size, that it's able to support itself. We can leave the contracting business behind. We don't need to do any contracts anymore because we are a self, self-sufficient, self-sustaining business. And that's kind of where we got to with Riverview. 
obviously Riverview we had to get there a lot quicker because of the issues that the game had last summer when Giants were doing updates that broke things um, but hopefully like I say this this year I'm ho I'm hoping in this series we can explore the, uh, the the beginning phase of the game a little bit more and enjoy the contracting phase a little bit longer before we jump into total farm ownership and map ownership <laughs> you see once we get once we get into the farm ownership side of things then there's really not a lot to differentiate this series from the other content that i do um so it's trying to keep this this let's play quite a bit different from the next one <laughs> you know doing an excellent job of trimming this bit of the field so hopefully when the ai comes back from unloading next time he won't he won't drive over everything and everyone i mean i still don't know why he didn't just take the road into the um field but i guess that's giant ai for you And we're full again, ladies and gents. So, must go and unload. This gives me a nice opportunity to grab a screenshot as we're unloading. Lovely, lovely content for the YouTube crowd. Like I say, like, if I can get three videos done today, that'd be great. That's a rendering session I can do, then do this evening. I can then upload everything tomorrow. Get it all scheduled and tagged and bagged and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Might cut out the... Have you checked how the recording's looking with multi-streaming at the same time? Of course I haven't, Barker. Come oh on, what do you expect me to be, like, professional? <laughs> I think you can go and unload this time, dude. I think you've uh, reached the point where you're, you're falling off. What we'll do is we'll check we'll check one of the recordings after this um after I finish this video, shall we? And see if Bark has absolutely sabotaged my afternoon so far. <laughs> Barker's fault, he did it. I assumed you would have checked after the first one. I'm just playing the game and streaming, trying to entertain everybody. I can't keep fiddling about on my desktop, you know. People don't want to watch me fiddling about, do they? 
you know, they're here for the engaging and, you know, exhilarating farm sim action from the best farm sim content creator here on Kick. providing my own music so as not to get copyright strikes because I'm obviously streaming for the YouTube audience. Dum 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 dum. Nice and dramatic there. Yeah, night is falling ladies and gents on the map. We've had a hard day so far. And I think we've still got half the field to do, ladies and gents, after this one. So it might be date. We might be finishing this contract off on day two, I think. We will have to see. Because obviously at some point I need to retreat to my RV, which is over there outside the John Deere dealership, and check out the latest batch of uh, check out the latest batch of Blue Crystal is uh, cooking. Hello, kitten little bits. Yeah, this game is very corny. It is certainly very corny today. And that's why I'm thinking the next contract will be for the cu uh, canola. <laughs> Just to break up the corn harvesting aspect a little bit. And we are sadly going to get very full. How are things with you, kitten little bits? Have you been doing any cycling this weekend? This past weekend? Gotta wait for our little uh, minion man to come back. Little minion man has delivered. He's unloaded. So he's on his way. Or she's on her way. It is a her. We have got a female minion today. Oh, no, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Dude, 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 you can't just drive through cars, dude. <laughs> that's more the AR, that's more the car driver's fault than the tractor driver's fault because the car drivers don't see anything. Their AI is really limited on in this game. They don't stop for nothing. And no one. <laughs> I'm surprised though, because I would have thought this tractor would have enough power that it could have pulled that trailer straight across the bonnet of that. You know. <laughs> I feel like a tractor would have absolutely messed up a car if it hit it in real life. And yes, before anyone comments or posts, I have seen the video clip of the one outside the Mildenhall Air Force Base here in the UK where a case tractor did drive over a car. 
<laughs> I have seen that clip. In fact, I, I think I even put it in one of my you, uh, farm fixing videos. Uh, it might have been during my Calmsden series. It's definitely, I definitely think I put it in one of them. When we was having some issues with Gerald. You've got to lurk. The boss is calling. Well, that's okay, Kitten Little Bits. You lurk away. I'll try and stay very quiet. Okay, I'll just whisper. So he can't hear me. Wow, it takes a long while to unload this harvester. This harvester's pretty slow at unloading itself. So, I think we've reached the point where, again, for the people watching the YouTube video, not the YouTube stream, only the video, we have reached the end of today's episode, ladies and gents. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will be back in a few days' time with some more South Carlos action. But for now, from me, CYE, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Goodbye, ladies and gents.